Hello guys, welcome to another video. Today is day 45, season 2, so let's get video. Starting off down here, we have the uh, Defender and the Cattle Trailer parked up. The quad and the Disco aren't here, but you'll see where they are in a minute. Here we have the Police Car, and I'll tell you why that's there in a minute. Here we have the main man himself, the Farmer, in the Disco. Um, he's parked today, he's about half hour and talks to police. In the shed, the link box isn't there uh, for once, it's doing a job. Here we have the uh, oil tank, sheep trailer, gator and the New Holland T6175 uh, parked up. In the shed we have the usual mini baler, round baler, John Dewey bale wrapper, fella rake, uh, the coon mower and the lawnmower. Uh, the reason why I'm always like going through every single machine um, and kit in the yard and in the sheds is because I don't have a big, uh, big model farm so to make the videos a bit long about plus five plus minutes um I, I tried to go through everything uh whether you've seen it or not i just i know it's gonna get a bit boring but um for now that's what i'm doing here we have the 56 draft parked up the 6616 and the 6920s all parked up in the shed and then behind the 5612 we have the coon fertilizer spread and the two fertilizer bags straight ahead head got up behind the 6616 and the bucket before the, the bucket for the 6616 is behind the 6920s. The reason why the bucket's in the shed is because one, we needed it out of the way, and two, it wasn't being used. Um, I mean, I have the tractor, but for now, um, it's just sitting in the shed. Um, the, the 6616 will probably only be used for the muck grab or the uh, round bale spike, then it being on the bucket. Now, here we have the cement mixer and the wheelbarrow. Uh, I don't actually know the brand of the cement mixer, so for now it's just a cement mixer. Uh, here we have the uh, JCB Mini Digger parked up. It uh, doesn't have any jobs at the minute. Might be doing uh, some uh, drainage jobs in the summer. Uh, but for now it's just sat there. And here we have the grading bucket for the digger. Here we have the Fleming Roller. And we have the six uh, bales of first cut. Uh, depending on the crop, uh, the model well, crop of the grass, we, we we'll probably get about 16, 17, maybe eighteen bales in total. Um, depends on the growth of the grass. Though here we have the uh, bale trailer parked up there, in its usual spot. Uh, here we have the uh, Matt's Land Rover. He came with himself, John and Liam, and then we have Tom's Land Rover. He came by himself. Here we have the pit silage. Um, so second cut will be in about three or four weeks from now. Um, so um, I will try and get a video when we're putting the silage in um, and maybe pushing it up. Um, I don't know. Here we have the Eiffel Women's Flat Bed Trailer parked up. Uh, so let me double bail if the uh, muck's better. Turn on the bucket and the muck grab. And the reason why the NC Dump Trailer has a bunch of rubbish in it is because, well, we think it was. Uh, last night because it wasn't there yesterday and we were trying to get in this field here it was this gateway and there was fly tip in front of it so we put in the trailer for now out of the way um, that's why the police are here um, and the farmers about to help out and talk to them about it um, so yeah um, it was just a bunch of wood uh, a couple of tires a barrel some fence and some uh, wire for like cat, hat, uh, holding cattle in a field, um, don't think it's electric wire, it could be electric fence wire, um, and then some bits of plastic, a lid for something, uh, just a bunch of rubbish really, and then like a pigsty door, I think, um, not that we can use it, but um, maybe the tyres or something, um, but yeah, so we're about to farm this, about to talk to the police now about it, and see what we can do. Here we have... Tom in the 6600, uh, he's got the link box on the back, finally he's doing his job, um, for now we'll go back in the shed, um, the Ford might join it, um, or it might go in its usual spot next to the telehandler, um, but it's got some straw uh, left in the back, because we were helping uh, someone, it's a sort of uh, contract I guess you could say, uh, just really helping someone, um, getting paid for it though, so, um, it's a busy time, uh, the Ford and Link box weren't getting used, and they're only East Raw mini bales. So it's just getting them from the field to the yard, uh, so we said we'd help out. Uh, get the Ford and the Link box out, especially Link box out of the shed. Um, better comment down below if you 
uh, I think that's a good setup. I I reckon they do fit very well together. Here we have a uh, white, lovely white Mercedes Sprinter. Uh, probably may or may not have seen this. It might be in first or second time seeing this uh, on the farm. But um, I just parked there. And here we have our shearer. Um, so we have the uh, same person shears our sheep every year. Same person scans our sheep, uh, which is a different person. But every year we have the same person. And every year we have the same person who scans the cows as, as well. Um, so yeah. So he's just sure with the U there. Uh, these two have been done. Obviously they still have wool on them. I can't actually take the wool off, but you can just imagine. Uh, we've got some wool in there. And here we have Matt. He's about to open up the hurdle. He's got a busy job. He's got to open up the hurdle for the U's and put the wool in the bag. Um, but now here we have our sort of made up race of the sheep running down. And uh, we have John making sure they don't run away. And then we have the farmer's son on the Honda four track squad behind just, you know, pushing them in. Um, just these three done so far. Um, just recoupling with the lambs. A couple of them, a couple of lambs just stayed together, and the mums will find them. Um, they got the chickens and the chicks there, and the ducks and the ducklings. Uh, they're the bushes there. Um, so the bushes, like I said in the last episode, have just been sort of scattered around. They haven't really been put in a sort of normal place, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, um, it's kind of nice having the ducks, the chickens, just knock around the fields, scratch around. They actually have been scratching around some of the silage bits. Uh, same with the ewes and lambs, they've been eating some of the silage bits that have been left over. And here we have Liam, uh, really on the farm. He's in the telehandler, got the IBC. Uh, it's a bit awkward, he's a bit close to the gate there. Um, but he's got the sort of where the water comes out of the IBC there, you can see. He's just filling up the cows, uh, water trough. And here we have all the cows and cars. Once the ewes and, uh, are done, we won't shear the lambs because their uh, coats on as as uh, long as the ewes. Uh, obviously, it's twenty eight degrees so today, so we need to sort of shear them. Um, the lambs will before they go to market. If it gets if the coat gets a bit too much, we'll have to shear them as well. But for now, we don't need to. Uh, the two meg lambs will be done once the ewes are done, so they don't get mixed up with the ewes and lambs. Probably transport them in the um, in the sheep trailer, just to, so they don't get mixed up, because uh, they're a bit heavy to carry now, and they don't look heavy, but they are, um, and hopefully in the next video we will have a trough for the sheep, um, so yeah, it's a very busy day today, Joe, guys, um, so yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and bye.